We've been working on this film for over three years. So far, it's been funded through donors and our own money. But now, to get the film finished and to give it to the world, we really need your support. We hope you will become part of the Ablaze team and help support us. When my daughter Ninda was born, I wrapped her in a possum skin cloak. It will journey with her through life. It's part of my culture that was once completely lost. On the first skin, I carved what I knew about my grandfather, William Townsend Onus. Although he died before I was born, he influenced my life in unexpected ways. When I was at school, I told my teacher that my grandfather had invented the name Mumba. That's this huge festival that parades through Melbourne every year. But the teacher called me a liar and I was sent to be punished. Even when my parents explained that it was true, I never got an apology. As I grew up, I learnt many more things about my grandfather. That he was a successful business entrepreneur, a theatre producer. Now, what are you going to play for us, George? A host of a popular television show. And that he threw the boomerang so well that Walt Disney invited him to the United States to perform. But that was only one side of him. Mr. Bill Onus, the president of the Aboriginal Advancement League, said it would have been better if the church had kept right out of Aboriginal affairs. I'm speaking from a blackfella level, a, a mission level myself. I'm not speaking as an academic white man. And what I've always felt, that the Aborigine was always the last person to be consulted as to what he wanted. At a time when you were judged by the colour of your skin, I'll get the doctor and he But the baby is it black? Bill fought for everyone to be treated with respect. To others, he was a menace to be stopped. My grandfather's turbulent life played a major role in shaping my career in opera. But there are things about my grandfather that still remain a mystery. I recently discovered that Bill made movies. He might be the first Aboriginal filmmaker. There's evidence to show that. The story goes that his movies were burnt up in a caravan fire. From what I've heard, Bill's movies might have been the spark that could have set the world on fire. Recently, 70-year-old silent film discovered inside a vault. Everything points to it being made by Bill. This is a film about my journey to learn more about my grandfather. Hey, Tedeke, Tedeke, oh, good to see you, big fella. This story is also about my search to find Bill's lost films and to discover what they were about. Maybe they can provide the missing pieces of the puzzle about how he saw the world and how others saw him. This is a journey into a past I never knew I had connections to. A culture once destroyed and regained. And to places I never imagined I would arrive at. <laughs>